hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back so today i'm going to be reacting to iranian woman takes off hijab so without twisting time let's get into the video islam is free from this this has nothing to do with islam That's i want to make that clear one country that yeah. hijab is not compulsory okay Islamnet is establishing a masjid and a community center. If you donate to build this masjid, Allah will inshallah build a house for you in Jannah with bricks of gold and silver. Every person who prays in this masjid, every child that memorizes the Quran, you will inshallah share in that reward. Donate now guys and do not delay. Sister, what's your name? My name's Ali, just, 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 just formally. My so. name is Ali as well. What's the problem? Sister Ali, okay, no problem. Well. And you, you don't need to know my gender, no, no, I'm I ask for your gender. No, 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 okay. I'll respect. Don't call me sister, okay? Go on. What can I call you? I just, I'll respect. You don't need to call me. But how am I going to refer to you? Oh, Ma sister, no. Can I say, can I say madam? Can I say, okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Firstly, firstly, let's talk about what's important is her life, which was, which was taken. Yes? The, the life of this, yeah? And many more. And yes. many more. Okay, let's talk about that. I think that's really important. Um, the, the, the thing I'm just a little bit confused about before I come to this, it was her name was Ma Masem Masa? Yeah, Ma yes. Masa. Okay, okay. So firstly, we acknowledge that I'm, I'm a Muslim, by the way. I, I came to Islam 10 years ago. My family is, um, my dad's atheist agnostic. Just, just to give you it's, an idea, yes. I was born Muslim, but I'm not Muslim anymore. Okay, so, so, so I came to I Islam. Okay, I came to Islam, you left Islam. I, I okay. don't need to know your religion. I, yeah. I equally respect everyone's no, no, opinion, I'm just, I'm, regardless yeah. of their religion. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You don't need to explain anything to me. Okay. Get, your, get to the point. Okay, so if I can okay. just get to the point, please, yeah? So the point is, number one, that she was killed. Um, what I saw, by the way, I don't know much. If you can educate me, I'll be yeah. happy. No, what no I saw. Problem. You are talking this is more a 20 than years old gap. Just let shut us the tell you. Shut let us face. tell you what that's, happened. That's why you I came. You don't have enough information. You're, that's correct. We have information. That, that's you why I came to you. That country. Brother, that's that's why I came to you. You guys are wearing the, the reason why no. I jumped in. Look, 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 no, that's why I came to you. We respect you. You are talking more than us. No, no, no. No, I want to learn. I came here to learn. I'm not talking. Let us tell you. Yes. Let us tell you. Yes. We have a dictator. Okay. Okay. okay, we believe that he's using Islam as a tool to okay. kill people. Okay. We don't care that what religion people have. Okay. People in Iran can have many religions, whatever that they like. Okay. They can be Christians, they can be Muslim, they can choose whatever that they like. But imposing and using a tool, using religion as okay. a tool yep. and forcing it on people and killing people in the name of it, that is wrong, that is so wrong that we don't need even to talk about it. This girl was with her brother. Okay. Okay? Yep. She was wearing something that I believe and many people believe that was absolutely normal. Okay. She wasn't without a scar. Yeah. She was having a normal, yeah. but yeah. she was kept by the police, uh, police uh, and then morality, she was, morality police, police. Separated them. Separated, separated them with her brother. brother. So, her brother. Her brother. Murdered her. so her brother was separated from the sister? Yeah, yes, forcefully, forcefully. And forcefully. And then murdered the sister. They murdered yeah. him. Okay, so how, do, how do you think that brother is feeling now? Just imagine you yeah. have a sister. That was my sister. With yes, her, yes. With, with her going to another city. Yeah. Imagine that you just go to another city yeah. and then they keep your sister yes. and then after few hours they give you someone that is gonna die in the hospital three days later okay. yes. just imagine how her brother is feeling now that, that's not, if it was my that's sister if it was my sister i, I would be very angry i would do more than that you know most, but, of, what I, what most just, of the opinion i hear from my muslim brothers yeah. is based on their assumption and interpretation of Islam but in Iran Islam is a political brand yes, for yes. the totalitarian Shia. Yes. Shia. 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 Shia is their political brand yes. to Shia. brutally suppress any other thought okay. and any other movement yes. in that society when they put this tag as an Islamic state or Islamic country on Iran yeah. it doesn't reflect true nature of the society it's okay. their brand Yes. Okay, and they are, they are imposing it on everyone, no matter what they think. Okay. That's that's what that that's why people are, are now on the street, mm -hmm. uh, fighting, Protest, protesting, yeah. protesting, and yeah. fighting for freedom. Yeah. Okay, because they aren't happy with this totalitarian system. Okay, so you know, I saw a video. Please educate me. I'm here to be educated. Um, where she is in is that in hospital or police custody when she falls, and she yes. where did that happen? I don't know. It is 
in the it's police, a police custody. station. It's so a in police place. custody, she collapses. Yes. Yes. Because is that where she dies? Yes. Because, because before that, they cracked her skull open. So before that, she was she, uh, she had a. Um, um, she attacked had, her. Yes, she, she took her in custody. Okay. And brutally beat her uh, up. Be, beat her up. Okay. To the point that it cracked her skull open. Okay. Then later on in the police station, yeah. because of the, the injury her hemorrhage in, in, in her in her uh, brain. Brain, yeah. She collapses and passes away. Okay. And they don't tell you the, the entire story, but okay. whatever they tell you has puts a lot of focus on that footage only. Okay. They say, okay, it was because of natural causes, but that's Yeah, what that's what they were saying. Listen to her yeah. father, listen to her brother. Yeah. They are very brave and they're yeah. talking and they ask so many yeah. questions, but okay. why the government is not answering yeah. those questions? And if you want to so. actually feel the brothers, if you have a sister and yes. she's wearing her job, yeah. Yeah. just imagine, imagine in here, someone yeah. take her, her yeah, job. Yeah, imagine the police does and that to you. You know, beat her up mm. because she has it's the same feeling, yeah. man. It, it's not right. Okay, so as, as, as so I've listened to you guys, like I didn't know some stuff, I really appreciate it. Thank you for clarifying for me. As, as a Muslim man, um, what, what's that? Number one, I'm against the whole regime of Iran, period. Like as Muslims, the Sunni Muslims were against that, anyways. And number two, in Islam, actually to take a life, like there is no prescribed punishment for someone not wearing the hijab. Like if you look at the Sharia, there is no prescribed, like, prescribed punishment for adultery, for uh, zina, for slander, for robbery. Um, for um, uh, apostasy, but, but but when it comes to the hijab, the hijab there isn't. It doesn't mean it's not a sin, but there is nothing that says that you can kill somebody over hijab. This is a big fat lie, which which is a different topic. I'm just clarifying yeah, here. The, the problem yeah. is they kill people for a variety of reasons. Exactly, exactly. It's, not only it's this, just an excuse because they are oppressing yes, the society. Yes, exactly. Right? Yes, they, they have their brutal police force. Yes, to, yes. To, to, uh, to try and silence people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So no, what only what we're against is yeah. the, our. Politicians, our government. Yes, yes. We're not against anything other than that. Yes. Then people, if yeah. if someone mm. would force or kill any woman in Iran yes. for wearing hijab, yes. I would do the same for her. Yes. I would you, do you, exactly you know, yes. the same. You know, you know, sometimes you know, like in France, for example, yeah, like yeah, the jab. The jab I, I, I would be absolutely exactly like, like that. it's just sometimes yeah. you know what it is. We understand where you're coming from. Somebody's yeah. lost their life. At the end of the day, like like Allah says in the Quran, if you take one soul, it's if you kill the whole of humanity, and if you save one soul. So what we want to tell you guys, I know some of you guys are not Muslim, but the thing is, Islam is free from this. This has nothing to do with Islam. That's I want to make that clear. I want to make that clear. You know, you know the, the behavior of these regimes. Yes. Is damaging the society. Yes. But you know who takes the damage even more than that? Yeah. Islam. Yes, yes. exactly. Because they yeah. do it in the name exactly. of Islam. Same so, as ISIS. So they do it in our exactly. name. I have to go and say, me, I'm sorry, I'm not yeah. ISIS. I have to clarify myself 100 exactly times. That's exactly the same. For exactly. Iranians, yes. when we come to any other country, it's yes. they, they, they think, have to yeah. say that I'm Iranian, yes. but I'm not with the exactly. government. Yes, I'm yes. not thinking about killing yeah. other people. Exactly. I'm, yeah, that's, so that's you share our pain because we go through the same thing. That's the same. All we're doing is we're suffering at the hands of these people who've hijacked our religion. Yeah. Like for Any, you guys, yeah. anyone who's using their power, yeah. we have to be against them. No yes. one yes. should be in power more than a period of time in a, yeah. any, any country. Yeah. You've been in power for five years, thank you very much, go away, mm. someone else should come in. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, this man has been in power yeah. for more, for than, more three, than 30 years. years. Mm. Yeah. Imagine so, how know. corrupted is that government. Mm -hmm. Imagine all the money that they have yeah. and how they are spending it. It's awful. You can see all indications of a dictatorship and a totalitarian regime in Iran. Mm. All indications. And one of the massive ones is a single person in power for more than 30 years. Yeah. He has all the power and resources in the country. Okay, so you know one thing I wanted to touch up on, maybe it's relating to this, is that you know when we talk about um, freedom, so like for example a person is free to wear the hijab or not, wear to, not, wear, not to wear the hijab, just off topic a bit, um, when we talk about freedom, what do you exactly mean? Because like I don't believe personally in this concept that you choose not to wear the hijab. I don't believe this exists. Like I don't, I don't, I repeat again, I believe that you don't choose not to wear the hijab. You are forced not to wear the hijab. 
By whom? Oh, by whom? By okay, good, good. So this is where I want to come because by the uh, okay, society. Society. Pro, pro, peer pressure. Or maybe by the things that I've read, or maybe maybe, in, maybe in the day maybe. I I think that oh I have a beautiful hair I want to mm -hmm. have it mm -hmm. around me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That you're absolutely right yeah. because maybe 100 years later yeah. women are gonna shave with their hair because it's more efficient. So, as simple so, as that. It can, it can be anything. So, I absolutely agree. I am not wearing hijab. Mm -hmm. at the moment yes. because of all the things that happened in my life. Okay, I, I understand and I'm sorry that yeah. happened and whoever did this, I, I genuinely on their behalf to make you feel, that, I'll be honest with you, look, sometimes as Muslims, the Prophet peace be upon him said, I came for nothing but to perfect good character. Meaning, when What's you look... What's the definition of good character? Good, good, and so for example, good character starts with Allah, God Almighty. Because some people say, this tree is God. We say that's I having bad character with Allah. Get what you want. I want to give Sorry. you a tip. Yes, please. One tip, because yes. I've been in force. I'm yes. 41 years old. Okay. okay. Yes. I've been, I've been, ha had this in conversation a lot. Yeah. One thing that people get wrong is that if in a good intention, yeah. even in a brotherhood intention, they yeah. come and tell me and yeah. tell me. Yes. One day I'm going to think, okay, I'm going to impose it. No, on you. It. no maybe not. not no, 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 not exactly. So even with the good intention, yes. do not repeat the same message. I'm yes, telling you. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So what I'm, what I'm saying. Change it, give it other things. Yeah. Because I believe yes. that people. They are, most people, they look for religion. They want to have a religion. Of course, everybody. It gives them uh, happiness. A purpose. It calms them. A purpose, if yes. they are having a stressful day. Yeah. Whatever it reason it is. Whatever, whatever reason. Religion, yeah. they, they, they find it. So I'm, I don't have problems people having religion. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, yeah. This one can be one of those yes, yes, I yes. don't mind. Yeah. But one tip really for you yes. is that even by being kind but repeating and repeating, that's not going to work. Okay, good. So, 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 so what I was saying, I, I wasn't saying that let's be kind and do the same thing. Yeah. What I was saying in general, as Muslims, we should have good character. Period. Not about you wear hijab or not wear hijab. I'm just saying in general, as Muslims, we are... The, this is where the... Uh, um, uh, what do you call those... Um, I forgot the name, but basically we are the ones who are in the front. We, we, we are the ones that people judge Islam by. So it's very important for us to conduct ourselves in the right manner. But the thing what I was just saying for the sister as well is that I believe truly that for someone to say that they don't wear the hijab and they choose not to, I believe this is not true. And like again, I'm talking off topic, I'm not talking about this issue, yeah? What I mean by that is, for example, there are a lot of women in this country or around the world, billions of them who wear miniskirts, they get their nose done, they get their backside done, they get their breasts done. The question is, do they choose to do this? I say no. They are that, forced to do this. exactly to Islam it? as well. You know, no, Islam to a side. Islam no, no, to a side. No, no. We're going to say people, people have very the, 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 No, the, the beauty industry, well. other women, men, society. There are many. There's a book on this. But, but the, that happens to uh, people that they have a job as well. Yes. You are saying but, that yes, they're sister. not choosing it. Why it just it, happens No, no, no. Like for, exa society. for example. Why they don't have freedom. Why is it so difficult for my Muslim brother to yes. accept that people can think differently from them. No, no, we, we accept that. Look, look, what I'm, I'm not saying so that. Is it, not it's, it's no, 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 I'm just thinking for you guys no, 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 to no, accept no, I'm that I'm people that. can think differently of course they and do. choose not to wear a of, job. Of course, I'm not saying you're, that. You're having a very difficult time to accept that. No, no, I accept that. I don't believe that having a nose done job is bad as well. I don't think so, that so if a, so if, if, a, if a woman, but sister, no, if a woman, if a woman tries to get her nose smashed, this is not oppression? No. This is not oppression? their choice okay is it their choice when the industry and the beauty industry and the uh, the makeup industry i'm not gonna advertise no it, no but sister but what i'm saying someone, is if my sister does it i'm not gonna say don't no do no it. no i'm not saying i'm not look we're not, we shouldn't hit anybody what i'm saying is sorry my, my, my is gone okay so okay no problem thank, thank you thank you sister thank you sorry like just in a nutshell guys like what happened was tragic i don't want to twist like change the story that the point i was trying to make is this perception that we are under that women who cover up are forced but women don't cover up are not forced and this is an, a big fat lie this is a big fat lie you look at the beauty industry billion dollar industry yeah now just because somebody doesn't hit you on the head and go don't wear the hijab get your nose done doesn't mean they are free the point i'm trying to say is which woman why do they wake up in the morning and find the need to spend two hours doing makeup why do they find the need to wear four inch heels and it's so uncomfortable they have to take it off in cold weather why do they find the need to get their buttocks their bumps excuse me 
their backside's done and some of them die in the process. There was a Brazilian woman in Brazil, she got her bomb done and she died. She literally sacrificed her life for that beauty. So the point I'm trying to say is this notion that Muslim women are oppressed and the Western women or Iranian women, whoever it may be, we choose to take you off. No, you don't. You are told to in a different way and you think, oh, it's I choose. No, you don't. Why do you go, like, by the way, anyone can dress up how they want to dress up in this country. The point I'm trying to make is this. When I, well, we shouldn't actually, anybody, none of us should see this, but you know, it pops up in front of you. In the winter, a woman wearing a miniskirt, you're thinking to yourself, did she really choose to? Did she wake up and say, it's freezing cold and I'm going to wear a miniskirt today? No, she does not. She's like, I look, I think I look beautiful. Men look at me. I'm, I'm in competition with other women and the beauty industry and all of this and I am willing to go and wear a mini skirt. That is oppression. Now, the same could be said about our sisters. Do they wear the hijab because they want to? No, they do it because they have to. Do I wake up for Fajr because I want to? Well, yeah, but I do it because I have to. It's not something I enjoy in the context where I'm like, it's hard, waking up for Fajr is hard. But I do it because um, I'm told to. Now you're gonna say, well, what's the difference? You are told to, they are told to. The difference is this. I choose to follow the one that created me and he deserves my worship and he deserves me to obey him. However, the creation, the beauty industry, the men and the opposite gender and all these industries, they do not deserve me to listen to them. That is the difference. And that's the point I just wanted to make. And obviously it's, it's sad what happened to the sister who passed away. And this is not from Islam. Nowhere in Islam does it tell you to execute or kill somebody because they do not wear the hijab. There is no um, capital punishment for this. Yeah, there is, there isn't. Let's be real. Like I'm an Orthodox Muslim. I should call my religion. You know, there is capital punishment for apostasy. Yeah, and I always say this, and I've got no problem with it. Yeah, in a, in a legitimate Islamic country. But when women come to me and make it out as if they choose, like she said, I don't see any problem with getting my nose done. Can you imagine going under operation? When you get your nose done, your eyes start going. You know, after the operation, your eyes are this big. Yeah, if there can be confusions, complications. Yeah, you're telling me you are willingly. To go there and get your nose done? No, you're not. I have family members, I know, I don't want to get into detail. Three, four of them have got their nose done. And I go to them and go, she done it, okay. Why did you do it? Oh, I done it because it looks good on her. Okay, so why did you do it? Oh, because it's good. Come on, man, don't, don't come to me with this. I'm so sorry. Islamnet is establishing a masjid and a community center. If you donate to build this masjid, Allah will inshallah build a house for you in Jannah with bricks of gold and silver. Every person who prays in this masjid, every child that memorizes the Quran, you will inshallah share in that reward. Donate now guys and do not delay. Now very interesting. Uh, it's a shame that the lady had to lose her life but I'm trying to understand something. Is it that she took off her hijab? Is it that they just killed her for the sake of killing someone? You know, some people kill just for the sake of, they don't even have a reason but they kill someone. Um, concerning what he's saying, I actually understand where he's coming from because if Rihanna today wore a hijab, trust me, half of us will be outside wearing hijabs by tomorrow. We're always influenced by something, whether we know it or not. We're conditioned through the shows we uh, watch, listen to, through the people we interact with, through what we decide to focus on. Whether we like it or not, someone is conditioning us one way or another. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.